because I think this, this election is a pivotal, seminal election in America. And the contrast is going to be stark and significant. This isn't a matter of degrees. There will be a, def a very different direction America will take depending on who the next president is. So as a result of that, it's going to matter a lot to us. You know, for me, the fortunate thing is I don't have to go around and uh, unsay anything I said during the campaign. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> we had a very civil relationship, and I thought it was significant that I felt like the, the two of us that ran, frankly, the most civil campaigns in the entire Republican primary ended up the last 200 feet. And I, I hope that that is a sign of things to come in terms of the type of campaign. And Senator McCain is clearly running that type of campaign. Uh, throughout the process as evidenced by his actions and, and uh, comments this week. And uh, I think it bodes well for the long-term future of the Republican Party, the manner in which he's carrying uh, the overall effort. Governor McQueen, Governor, I yes. wondering if you could talk a little bit about the social conservatives and how they're feeling now, and if there's anything Kate should be doing more to reach out to them, or if they're happy with him, if you could just talk a little bit. Well, I expect uh, the entire party is going to rally around Senator McCain, already is. I, I see every evidence of that. And uh, there's, a, I think, a very good movement taking place within the party to not just coalesce, but to strengthen and to really bond and realize that this is a very critical election that we can't afford to uh, take lightly. There's going to be a lot of energy for whoever the Democrat is. They've been out of the White House for eight years. They're hungry. They want it back. And it's not about, though, uh, just which party gets to... Uh, taste the spoils of the war. It's, it's where they're going to lead the country, and that's why I think Senator McCain uh, is the critical choice for America to make, and it's why I'm happy to see him taking this tour this week, because he's going to places where a lot of Republicans have traditionally not gone. He's proving that uh, not only his candidacy, but I think his presidency will reach deep throughout America and touch uh, every life and every strata of our country. That's very, very important to, to make that clear early on, and he's doing that. Are you doing anything within the community to kind of get everybody on board? One of the, yeah, I mean, certainly. I'm trying to uh, not only campaign for Senator McCain, but I've had a lot of meetings with uh, conservative leaders. I've encouraged them that this is a time for us to come together. Senator McCain's pro-life. He uh, stands with us on issues that matter. His conservatism is unquestioned, and that's why I can't imagine anyone not rallying uh, toward his campaign, me or anyone else. Governor, what, what do you think um, the, the hesitation is, if, if any, among some of the leaders like Johnson, et cetera, and what do you say to them? They were hesitant about me, too, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 there you go. I think I'm a pretty pure guy when it comes to some of those issues, so I, I couldn't answer it. So, uh, you know, what I don't see, I don't see that, though, out there in the rank and file. And the rank and file is where the votes are, and that's where the, that's where the infantry is. Those are the people that are going to knock doors, make phone calls, stay up late, uh, get out there and do the grunt work, and, and I don't think there's any doubt there. I haven't seen any evidence of that. What are the rank and file most worried about in this election? Hillary or Obama. <laughs> <laughs> They're really worried about that. You bet. I mean, what issues are the election? Is it, what's the election going to turn on? I mean, that's hard to say because every month it seems to be something different, some you know new crisis. But I think it's going to turn on the uh, idea that you want to elect someone who's got not only experience and seasoned judgment, but who has core convictions, and that's where.